Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. It's that boy G playing. Don't give a damn. He cooler than the fan. Walking real tall. Some say he's man. Hold up, man. But I want. I want to say this, bro. We at the. We at the top of 2023. Um, February next month. Uh, it's ain't no summertime, whatever gone. But what's what's next for Blitz? Like, we know you got ruckus. I know you got ruckus. You know, you giving me this interview. I appreciate your time. Yeah. You know, so you, you I'm pretty sure you about to get back into the press. Yeah, doing, for sure. Yeah, I'm back. Yeah, I'm getting back active. See, next for me, like. I'm really going, you know, because I dropped a lot of music last year. I dropped like six tapes last year. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't really just marketing them, but I was just putting music out because I'd be love recording and making music. But now I'm going to go back to my, my, the basics, what got me into my, my buzz and got me into what, what was getting me popping before I caught my case. But everybody that don't know me, I got arrested for a shooting at a club out here. You know what I'm saying? Some, you know, basically, somebody shot a club up inside that bitch, and then they came, got me, and said I did it, and they charged me both ways. They charged me fed, and they charged me state. I went to the feds and bucked them, bucked them, and went to jury. They, they, I was supposed to go to jury trial. They dropped my case. This shit happened, nigga. I've been free like damn near. I beat my fed case two years ago, and goddamn me, you ain't hear nobody, you ain't hear nothing about me with no plea deal. You hear nothing about me snitching, because I'm a, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, and then, but my state case still open, but that shit I almost over with, because we, we getting ready to do a jury trial on that end, and it's the same evidence, it's the same case, you feel what I'm saying? But I got somebody, one of the security guards, he said one of the security guards, basically, a fight broke out, and he said, the rapper, it's an article, you can look the shit up, I, I got an article on the internet and shit, but they said I, uh, I upped in that bitch and started shooting the club up, but, so that's what I've been fighting legally lately, so that's been pushing me back, I, my money been going over there. And I was going to ask you this, bro, because people need to, people need to know when you get accused of stuff, or when things happen, you go spend money. A lot of money. Like, can you give us an estimate of how much money you think you gave to the police in the system? As since as, since this, this, on this case alone? I'm just saying, it, uh, uh, all your time, roughly, including this case. But I just know on this case alone, a nigga done gave, I bundled out 15,000, bundled out 30,000, 20, 20, well, that's 40, that's 30, 70, it's close to about 85, $90,000. Yeah, on this case right here. Like nice. close, that's just this case right here. That's just this one right here. Now just imagine if I could have took that 85, 90,000 and put into my music career. I'd be gone. You'd be gone. Yeah, I don't need these niggas. They know I don't need them for real. Like, like I'm not, like, but see, that's why I be like, the mentalities out here, like, like, nigga, like, we need to look at each other as teammates and brothers and we need to, lean on each other and helping uplift each other, but they don't have that mentality out here. Mm -hmm. I blew past a lot of niggas out here rapping in the deal bill when I got out from doing my six years in prison. I blew past a lot of niggas out here and niggas know it. Niggas know I niggas know my music was getting played in the clubs. I was in heavy rotation. That's so like I'm coming and that's why uh, um DJ said to me, one of them DJs, he said, bro, you be talking about DJs like we wasn't fucking with you. We was fucking with you. Mm -hmm. I, they, I, they was playing my shit in the clubs, you feel me? Because I worked, I know what I had to do, get out there and grind. It's just, I don't be want to do it. I'd rather go do it in Louisiana now. Mm -hmm. I'd rather go, I don't want to do this to people that know me and I know me and they see me. Like, God damn, y'all ain't fucking with a nigga for real. Mm -hmm. Y'all just waiting for a nigga to get popping again. So guess what? I'd rather go across, there, across them state lines. I'd rather go to Mississippi. I'd rather go to somewhere else now. And, but I'm reporting once a week right now. So it's hard for me to move. Yeah, I'm I'm reporting once a week right now. I gotta report once a week. I gotta go piss once a week. You know they on my edge. You feel me? Nah, I got a lot of shit going on in my life that that I don't put on the internet. You know what I'm saying? And I be off the internet a lot because of the laws fucking with my social media and trying to use shit that's not what it is and try to you know you know how they gonna try to twist us and make us look like we this shit like that. But hell yeah, I, like my next goals though is a single. 
Mm. I need to get a new, a single jumping like how I had jumping. I don't give a fuck if it's out here or if it's somewhere else. I just want to get me a single and go out of town and work shit out that whole, you know, network, meet new bloggers, get my story out there to people in Alabama, get my mm. story to people in Atlanta, Louisiana. But I'm really, my first thing is focusing on Louisiana right now. I'm yeah, focusing man. on Louisiana. I, I think, I think. I'm focusing on that boot. You'll be good over there. Like, now don't get me wrong. Before, of course, we got that. They got that gangster persona, or whatever. But as far when it just comes to just pure music, they got it. Yeah. Like, them, I, I grew up off that yeah, shit. Yeah, they they got Come it. On, Especially man. Baton Rouge. They influenced, Florida. bro. Louisiana influenced the whole world. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like even with my music, like, the more people from Louisiana get hip to my music, they gonna see, like, yeah, oh, that know. nigga, he got, he got a little Louisiana bounce to him, like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So, you know, like, I'm going to that boot. I need to go tap in with that boot. So, any DJs you know in Louisiana, in Shreveport, Natchitoches, Alexandria, Monroe, BR, Lafayette, Lake Charles, you know, all that, New Orleans, man, y'all... Come fuck with a real street nigga, you hear me? Like you come fuck with me, nigga. I got and I got some, I got some shit for the clubs. Like I ain't just one of them niggas that's. I got some talent. You feel what I'm saying? I'm really, I'm really, probably one of the hardest niggas in America for real. I just don't be. I just be humble about it. But <laughs> I'm gonna tell you this. For All real. Right. The, um... They take it off for me. You just sent that to me. Yeah. That, I I think like that, as far as getting a club record. That's it. I think that's the one. Like for a club record. So you think like, I need to go ahead? That, that's the one. I I, I just made that song. You know I just made that song last night. No, I didn't know that. I just made it last night. <laughs> I like it. Shout out my boy A Ray on the track. Yeah. I just made that song last night. Tonight, today, like five in the morning. Wow. I went home, went to sleep. Woke up, came, did the interview with you. I, I got in the house at like 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 five, like like six six seven o'clock. I just woke up, goddamn me. You hear me? So, I, yeah. that's the one though. That's, that's why I said to you. Yeah. I just wanted to see. Yeah, that's that. It got that flavor to it, and you can shop it. You can you can shop it. Like man, look, cause I'm gonna say it like this. When I go to certain clubs, I've been to DJ booth some time if I know the DJ. Yeah. And if a person come up to them. They can't take a chance on a record they never heard yeah, to, mess, sure. to mess their club vibe up. They can't. It but, matters what type of club you in, though. Type, if you in a regular club, yeah, but if you in a strip club, they can try your record out in the strip club, yeah. especially if the niggas finna throw some money, because that's all they want to see is money anyway. You're right, strip club, yeah. you're right. But I'm saying a regular club where people yeah. just dancing and stuff like that, nah. if you come to the DJ, come to him early and early. say, look, I got this record, and early. I'm going to give you a record. They can keep your party going. Early. You can work it in there for sure. Yeah, early. You got to come to them early, though. In the regular clubs, you got to come to them early or come to them on the off night where ain't nobody in there. It's one of their little slow nights. Yeah. Like, you know, I give rappers the game. I know. Yeah. I could get a blueprint on grinding your music in the clubs because I did it out here. Yeah. I just burnt out on doing it out here now. I just I just want to go somewhere else. I, it'll give me, like, a new life, a new It'd be more exciting if I'm in Baton Rouge or I'm in that, Streetport. I'm gonna tell you though, though, those they are smaller markets. Yeah. They smaller markets, but the music still dominates stuff. It's yeah, still, the music hard down there. Yeah, it, it still is. That's it, the most talented artists in the world. I, arguably, man. I was I would say arguably. I'm I'm being biased. They is. Man. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody got their sound from Louisiana for real. That up tempo Detroit shit come from some some a branch of Louisiana. Oh. Cash money, no limit type, up tempo, bouncing. They just put more 808s on their shit and they mixed it with the West Coast. Put the little West Coast little sounds on. Bro, I, I, I study music. I study music, my nigga. Anything up tempo, that's come from Louisiana first, man. But they come, New York was not rapping on no up tempo shit. It's Louisiana and Memphis is the first places that was making up tempo music, my nigga. Louisiana, Memphis, and them boys, you know, Texas, Port Arthur, yeah. UGK, H Town. They, but you, I mean, everybody know Pimp C from Crowley. Yeah, Pimp C. Yeah. No, he, just, he from Louisiana originally, but then he moved to Texas. You know what I'm saying? Another, that's another story, too. Yeah, right? the pimp, man. Long live the pimp. Yeah. But yeah, Louisiana, bro, come on, man. Louisiana yeah. music is. It's, you can't, it's undeniable. Man, for sure, for sure, man. All them niggas hard. <laughs> Straight up.